You are so powerful, yet you're still sitting there doubting yourself. Baby, why? Oh, why? Listen, you are a manifesting powerhouse, but I need you to start believing in your own motherfucking power and potential. Okay, spirit team? What is the message here for the person watching this? Listen, if you're manifesting some sort of communication, it's coming, okay? But here's, here's what I need you to do. I need you to start believing, believing that this communication is actually coming, okay? Because you're like manifesting it, yeah, but you don't actually believe that it's going to happen. So it, you're resisting it. You're causing that resistance and all you're attracting is the lack of communication because that's what you're actually subconsciously manifesting, do you get what I'm saying here? Do you get what I'm saying? Okay. Literally, literally with the eight of swords, you are the one keeping yourself stuck in your own head. Okay. Because your conscious mind and your subconscious mind are not in alignment. So this is where you have to start by reprogramming your subconscious mind and the beliefs that you are carrying about this situation, about yourself, about why this person hasn't reached out yet, okay? Eight, eight could be significant here. Ooh, 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 seven of wands. You gotta fight for what you believe in, truly, okay? Because it's easy to give up. It's easy to think, you know, when our 3D reality isn't catching up with what we are trying to manifest, it's easy to think, oh, well, clearly it isn't working. Like, it's not working, I'm Delulu, whatever, okay? But you have to start fighting yourself even, for what it is that you truly believe in. If you believe that this person is to reach out to you, or if you believe that you deserve that conversation, that apology, whatever it may be for you, you have to start affirming that to yourself, that it is coming, okay? And this is actually part of your spiritual ascension, is what I'm getting. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. We've got the Knight of Pentacles, the Queen of Cups, and also the Six of Cups. So listen, when you finally remember your own worth, when you finally get more in tune with yourself and start listening to that intuition. And as I say, work on reprogramming that subconscious mind, two to two on the timer. Mm -hmm. That is when this offer of communication is going to come through for you. Now, this is a slow and steady energy that's coming through here because it's almost like the universe is currently teaching you patience, patience to understand how this whole thing works, patience within yourself to work through the things that need to be worked through, to truly understand what every situation is trying to teach you. Because listen, life is all about overcoming challenges, okay? What the hell? Um, so yeah, this is communication from somebody from your past, okay? You're waiting for somebody here to communicate with you. And this is somebody that you are 